Excellent news, Hero. It looks like your boss has mysteriously resigned and taken an extended vacation to think about what he's done. I don't think you'll have to worry about him anymore. Anyway, Skull Crush got you a present. I wasn't kidding when I said the other villains were all worried about you. Hero? Weird. I'm usually in the living room. Hero! Where are you? Oh, hey! You alright? You don't look so great. Wait, why did I even bother to ask? Trying to get you to admit you're unwell is like talking to a wall. You're clearly not fine. Wait, are you sick? No, come here. Let me check your temperature. Hero, you're burning up. Why are you standing right now? Go to bed. Look at me. You're not fine. I thought you would have learned not to push yourself like this, at, like this after last time. Like right now, I feel like I'm even pushing myself. But I don't push myself to the limits that you do. That's probably what got you sick in the first place, pushing yourself. If you don't go to bed, I'm going to make you. You've gotten a lot better over the past few days, but I could probably still pick you up and throw you through a wall if I really wanted to. Actually, you know what? Enough arguing. We're not doing this again. Let me just... <clears throat> there. Now let's get you to bed. Yes, I'm carrying you bridal style. Would you rather I throw you over my shoulder again? That's what I thought. Why didn't you say anything? If you weren't feeling well, I could have picked up some cold medicine on the way here. If you say you didn't want to bother me, I actually will throw you through a wall. Honestly, that attitude is going to get you killed one of these days. You go so far out of your way for others, but the second you need help, it's suddenly every man for himself. How is that fair? Really? How is it different when you when it's you asking for help as opposed to a random citizen or something? As a hero, you should be able to handle yourself. You see. And if another hero needed help, would you deny them? Of course you wouldn't. You're you. Then what makes you the exception? How are you any different? Don't have an answer for that, huh? Yeah, I didn't think you would. Whatever. Here, let me just lay, lay you down and tuck you in. I know I don't have to. I'm just doing it anyways. I want to make sure you can't get out of bed that easily. Embarrassing? Well, you should have thought about that before trying to tough out an illness. The whole reason you're here is so you can get better. Did you really think I was going to let something like this slide? Grumble at me all you want. You're acting like a child. No, I guess we can just blame that on the fact that you're sick. Your boss? Oh, yeah, that guy. Unfortunately for everyone, he is still alive. That comment about him taking a vacation wasn't a euphemism or anything. I just gently told him that it would be in his best interest to leave town for a while. When he gets out of the hospital. Don't look at me like that. I only said I wouldn't kill him. I never said I wouldn't hurt him. He'll be fine. I just broke his legs a little bit. Oh, don't look so appalled. If anything, I should have broken more of his bones. <laughs> Did you really expect me to not do anything to that bastard after he used a 15-year-old's death to get you to overwork yourself to the point of collapsing. Why does the League even hire 15-year-olds anyway? I know it's not illegal, but it still feels wrong to put high schoolers on the battlefield like that. You got into the Heroes League at 14? They let you do that? Okay, that has to be illegal, right? What do you mean they technically didn't hire you until you were 15? That sounds shady as hell. You only did the hero training at 14 and then they hired you as soon as you turned 15? Yeah, because that's not suspicious at all. But I guess given your skills, it's not surprising the League wanted you in their ranks as soon as possible. 
I'm sorry. That's standards practice. To bring kids in at 14 for training and then hire them at 15, they can do that? Like, that's legal? Ugh, heroes training is more of an extracurricular run by the league, so it's kind of a gray area. The heroes league is working in a gray area for their recruits? No, I'm just surprised. The league always presents themselves as arbiters of justice, the ultimate force of good, and all that other pathetic fucking nonsense. It's weird that they're doing something even questionably legal. You think that they would be operating strictly within the law. All for the greater good, huh? Do you really believe that? Ugh, of course you do. You've been in the league for what, almost 10 years at this point? How old are you? Yeah, that's about what I figured. Whatever you say, hero. Anyway, let me go make you some soup or something. I don't care if you're not hungry. When was the last time you ate? You're giving me the cookie jar look, hero. Yeah, I'm gonna make you food. Hey, hey, hey! Stop trying to get out of bed. What are you doing? No, you're not gonna do it yourself. You're staying right here and resting for once. No, lay back down before I cover you in bricks like that time I threw a building at you, okay? Okay, good. I'll be right back. Alright, I have your soup. Sorry it took so long. Yep, here you go. Don't thank me. It sounds weird coming from you. Oh, yeah, I also grabbed Skull Crush's care package. I set it down in the entryway when I was looking for you earlier. So what'd they get you? More throwing knives, huh? Yes, that makes sense. I did mention how you lodged one in the wall and broke it. Oh, and some chocolate? Oh, how nice. Yeah, despite the name, the dude's actually really thoughtful. Always a treat at Christmas parties. I'll tell them that you like it. Now eat your soup. Hmm. <laughs> You're eating that pretty quickly for someone who isn't hungry. No, no, I didn't mean that in a negative or sarcastic way. As annoying as it is that you deny your own needs, I can't, I can't help but find it kind of endearing. In like a sad puppy kind of way. Don't hit me with your spoon for that, it's true. Well, if it bothers you so much, so maybe you should take care of yourself properly. They won't do it for you. Honestly, it's a miracle you've lasted this long. If someone asked you to die for them, you'd do it, wouldn't you? The fact you hesitated before saying no is just further proving my point. You can't put other people above yourself every single time. It's really not healthy. Why do you act like inconveniencing others is an unforgivable crime? It's not. Let me ask you this, Hero. It's your job to help people, right? That's your whole thing. Your whole shtick. Right. And are you bothered when people ask you for help? Do you get upset because someone needs your assistance? Of course not. People aren't going to be upset at you for asking for help when you need it. And people who get upset weren't going to be nice or help you in the first place. Whoa, I did not expect to hear something like that from you. What do you mean you don't deserve the help? You all right? Do you need to talk about it? Just the fever talking, huh? Sure, hero. Alright, I'll let you take a nap, but we're talking about that little comment when you wake up, okay? Good. Enjoy your nap. I hope you feel better when you wake up. Physically and otherwise. 
please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.